guys, it's Cody with Bass and Bones, and it is Friday, which means we have another vlog up. Last week we talked about, you know, how to get into fishing, whether it's you, whether you want to go to the professional side or you just want to do it for fun on the weekends, or you know how to go about actually getting into that. And also, you know, I've been talking since we started these, that are saying that we were going to talk about how to get sponsorships and how to go about all that, and, and that's that's what we're going to start going into today. I don't know that I'll get to everything just because it's you know it's a it's a huge subject. It's not just a hey, here's what you do. Um, fill this out, go do this, and everything's good and you're gonna get sponsors. So we're probably gonna break it up into two, maybe three different parts. Um, so like I said last week, talked about you know setting your goals and things like that, and, and definitely important if you didn't check that out, uh, go back to the, I think it's the second one, and, and have a look at that, and uh, that'll kind of get you started. So sponsorship, everybody you know these days wants to know, how do I get sponsors, how do I, how do I go about that? Um, and the answer is, and I've said this several times, everybody's gonna have a different kind of thing, a different way to go about it. Um, you gotta realize that every every company has different needs. Um, you know, there's some, there's some companies who are industry specific companies, meaning that they're a fishing related brand. There are some companies that are looking to gain uh, a foothold in the in the demographic, you know, through fishing. Maybe that's not where they're at right now, and they're looking to make a push into that. And so that's what the, the, you know. And, and you're an avenue to get there. One thing to realize is being on pro staff doesn't necessarily mean you're a pro. It's a promotional staff. Your job with that company is to promote that company. Um, you you know, typically until you're way up there, you're not an employer. Or an employee of that company, you're literally um, just kind of like a, a contractor. You know, once you get to the point that you're getting paid, you're probably going to get a 1099 from them. Um, it's additional income, so you're really your own your own boss there. It's just they're able to use you as an avenue to to reach that market, that demographic, that fishing market. So, getting started, like in the last in the last one, we talked about you know how to position yourself. You know, setting those goals. Realizing where you want to go, uh, to what level, you know. Then you want to start looking at once you have that that figured out. You want to start looking at what you have to offer a company. Um, think about. I, I tell people this. This is this is kind of how I, I shorten it up to everybody. When you're building your brand, you're building your company, your whatever you want to call it. I call it building your brand. When you're building that, you have to figure out a way to position yourself that you're going to be valuable to a company. And what I mean by that is flip flip it. Okay, let's let's say that you have spent all of your time and all of your money and that your heart is in a company so so much that it, it would be just like your fishing. Something uh, you've put everything into a business, into a company. The same that you have your fishing to get to this this level. Your dream is to build this company. So you've built this company, and now a guy comes to you or a, a woman. If if we have some some women viewers out there, thank you. Um, you have this person that comes up to you and says, "Hey, it, uh, essentially, this is what they're going to hear." You know. I want you to advertise with me or I want you to sponsor me Well, to fish. You gotta recognize most people aren't gonna, a lot of people don't take fishing competitively seriously because they don't understand. I'm sure you've heard it. They say, well, how do you practice to fish? That's a common one. And so that, you know, they're not gonna be able to wrap their head around why they should sponsor you to fish. So what, you, what I'm getting at is you have to realize that these people that you're going to be speaking with, they take these companies seriously. Whether or not they started it, it's their job to invest that money. You know, you're going to be talking to a marketing director or somebody like that. It, it's their job to invest that money for one thing, and that's ROI, return on investment. They're not out there. It's not a charity. They're not looking to give you money because they think it's cool what you do. They're looking to get more money back than what they put into you. So what, I, what I'm getting at is if you go and ask a company, and let's just say, let's just say your average sponsorship, you know, let's not even deal with the money thing. 
let's say a company says, hey, we'll give you $500 of free baits this year. Of, at, let's just say at cost baits, just to make it simple. You have to figure out a way to position yourself and to, to have a strong enough foothold in the promotional world, whether that's social media, website, or you just know enough people, you have your own magazine, radio, whatever. You have to have a large enough audience to be able to show these companies that whatever you're asking for, because you're gonna be, most likely, you're gonna have to ask before they'll just offer something. Excuse me. You need to figure out a way to sell more products or bring in more money than what they're investing in you. Because if you can't do that, you are of no worth to that company. You're, you're just not. If you're not bringing in money and helping, you, you're, not, you're really not doing anything. And if you don't, is what I was getting at earlier is, imagine that you own a company yourself. You've put your heart, blood, and soul into this company. Would you value yourself? If someone in your same shoes came up to you and you were the owner of this company, would you sponsor that person? Would you find value in someone that was doing the same thing you're doing? And, and, and you have to be honest with yourself because if you don't find value in that, then there's no value, it's not there. And so you're not believing, you're, you are your own product. If you, if you don't believe in what you're doing and you don't believe in what you're essentially, you're selling it, is what you're doing. You're gonna have a tough time. You know, you've got to figure out what you can offer these companies and think, would I buy myself? You know, would I place a value in myself, in my product? And if you don't, you have, you know, you need to change something around. Um, because when it really comes down to it and you're looking at serious sponsorships, that is one of the most important things. It, it, it absolutely is. Um, something I see too, with these is don't go into looking for sponsorships as I want a sponsorship because that I, I've seen that happening a lot. It's happening a whole lot. Uh, and I'm not going to get way off in that. I know some people might know where that could lead, but if you're going out and just, you're wanting a sponsor to say you have a sponsor, honestly, I would hold off a little bit. Um, develop yourself, check back on some of the older videos, work on developing your brand, developing yourself, get started fishing before you really do that because, and I'm guilty, when I first started, I didn't have anybody to, that really kind of mentored me or showed me which way to go, so I was one of those guys, you know, I got out there and I had several quote unquote sponsors like soft plastics and stuff, didn't know what I was doing, you know, and I just wanted a sponsor and that's, but had I known then what I know now, um, I probably wouldn't have done that. I wish I would have spent a little more time kind of, like I said, developing uh, along the lines. You know, when you're looking for these companies to approach, whether it be in industry or, or not in the industry, you want it to be something, you want it to be a company, you want it to be a brand that I tell people, you know, it's best to have already used their products. Find products or find companies, find something that you already use, you know, go out to your boat, go out to your your storage shed, whatever you're using, and figure out what kind of base, what kind of soft plastics, what kind of, you know, and figure out what, you, what you're using. Because what it comes down to, as like I said, it's promotional. Um, you're, you're trying to promote their products, sell their products, is what, you, it's the end game. You're trying to make money for the company. And if, if you're using a product and you're trying to promote a product that you honestly don't use, people are gonna know. It is so, hard to speak to a product and, and speak to how good it is if you honestly don't believe in it. Um, anybody that spends any time around you and hears you talking about it, they're gonna know. They're gonna be able to, people have a really good instinct, if you will, for seeing right through BS. And so if there's a product and, and you're using it just because you wanna be sponsored by a company and you don't truly believe in that product, people will see through it and that goes right back to what I was talking about before. They're gonna see it, it, it can and will ruin your credibility. You don't, and that's what you're working on. You're working on brand. It's kind of like being, um, you know, if, if one year, one year you pop up and you're saying, oh, you know, Jim Bass Fish's jigs are, they're awesome. They're awesome, they're the best. Next year, no, Bob's Bass and Jigs, those are the best. Well, guess what? After about three or four years of doing that, 
let's say you've moved up in the ranks and you start pushing this product, it, people are going, man, I, he, every year he's throwing something else. Every year he's pushing something else. It, and that just brings me back to what I was saying. You have to already like those products and, and be using them and believe in them. Because when you do that, you're gonna place a value in that company and that company will see that value that you place in them. Is what you're really wanting to establish there is what I'm working around to saying is you're wanting to build a relationship with that company because when you start building that relationship, it's more than just a sponsorship. You're building something to where you love the products, you care about the well-being of the company because if you do that, they will see that. You'll do a great job. You won't even, it's just like people say, if you enjoy what you're doing, you never work it in your life, but it's true. If you enjoy the products that you're, that you're uh, working with, you enjoy the company, it's not like work. You don't, you don't have to try to promote them. You will just honestly tell people, oh no, these jigs are the best or these rods are the best. You'll do that just off the cuff because you truly believe it. Um, and I, I just really can't, I hate to dwell on that. I can't emphasize that enough though. I just see it so much that people, you know, they want sponsors because they just, they just want a sponsor. They may not even use the product. So um, very important to do that. I said, I don't want to drag this on and on and on. We are going to go in next week. I'm going to talk about how to work up a resume because, you know, we've established a brand. Your per, you know, you started tournaments. You kind of have established that brand, that promotional platform, whether it's, you know, your audience is through social media or print, radio, whatever your audience is. Maybe it's just close because you've established that. You've gotten, you started in tournaments. Um, next week, I want to talk about just real quickly how to kind of go through and establish your resume. It's, this is a job. It is your brand. It is your company. So you have to figure out a way to go out and contact these people. And you have to have something to put in front of them to show them, like we were talking earlier in this, you have to have a way to show them what you're worth, what your capabilities are. Uh, and, and if you don't have that, it's, you're likely not gonna, ever going to sponsor. So I appreciate y'all watching. Be sure to subscribe. Sorry if this went a little long. Next week, we're going to talk about how to work up a resume for yourself, your company, your advertising company um, to gain sponsors fishing. Like I said, appreciate y'all watching. Be sure to subscribe below and check back next Friday at 3 o'clock for the next vlog. We're going to work through this. Hopefully get y'all some sponsors. Thanks for watching, guys.